dog in this hot salad water, yo. He means tea. I know what he means. What I don't know is who brought it into the tower. I don't know. It was not me. Who? Oh, it's not me. Calm down, dude. What's the big deal? You were about to drink tea. <laughs> tea! The national beverage of Great Britain. Do I really need to spell it out for you? Yes. <sighs> it all started back in 1776. Is this going to be a math story? Quiet! It all started back in 1776. The British Empire once ruled the American colonies. British soldiers could stay in anyone's house, anytime, and the taxes were super unfair. But worse than that, everyone was forced to drink tea all the time. Soda was not allowed. It was terrible. Finally, George Washington and the Founding Fathers had enough with the help of the mighty bald eagle. And the Statue of Liberty, they declared independence and threw all the tea into the ocean. Without their tea, the British Army didn't stand a chance, and America could drink all the soda it wanted. Uh. Of course, ever since their humiliating defeat, <laughs> the English have been working to regain control of the United States, and that tea is their way in! Robin, it's just a hot water salad. It's treason! Treason, I say! And I'm going to put it where it belongs! <laughs> oh. Forget the tea! You're Americans! You need something with a little sugar in it. Star, with your good looks and friendly attitude, you're clearly the homecoming queen. Cyborg, with your massive shoulders and bulging muscles, you're obviously a jock. Raven. With your refusal to play along in deep-seated anger, you're clearly a basket case. What about me? You? You're a nerd. Huh, really? I always felt more like a bohemian. Shut it, nerd. School isn't about what you feel on the inside. It's about dressing up the outside so everyone knows who you are by looks alone. So, who are you? Well, obviously, I'm the all-American boy next door. I'm the guy who stands up to bullies. The guy who is elected student body president. The guy who becomes valedictorian. Who's with me? Hey, what's up, guys? Robin, we feel you have lost the vision of what is most important in a leader. So I used a time machine to bring one of history's greatest leaders here to remind you what leadership is all about. <laughs> It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Whoa, George Washington? The one and only. Dude, who's that old lady? Show some respect. I think it's the grandma who's on the back of the dollar bill. Oh, money grandma. She's rad. Being a true leader, Robin, is like being a gardener. You must tend to your friends like you might a small sapling. For only by working together towards a common goal can a true team with the strength of a mighty oak be formed. I think I understand. You want to run for team leader against me? I will ruin you, Washington! Robin, you misunderstand. He merely... Such insolence! All right, you little redcoat. If you want to test my mettle, you shall find me ready to deliver a quality thrashing indeed. I will bring it on! Uh, 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 Quick, take that, Georgie Porsche! Stop. Stop. Oh, you're still old school! Was this your plan, fight, Raven? Fight, More or less. Fight. You get it, money, Grandma! Man, we've been here five minutes, and you already got us in detention? Well, when I see a bully, I take him down. <laughs> no regrets. That's just the way of the all-American boy. All-American boy? More like crazy crane-kicking guy. I am still unsure who exactly was the bully in that situation. What, you didn't see this nerd trying to bully his way into hanging out with this cool jock? Why do you care about labels so much? Maybe there's more to us than what's on the surface, bro. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We all have our parts to play, and now that I trashed a bully, my next part is to become student body president. America, America, awesome America. We got tank tops and pickup trucks, George Washington on the bus. Freedom and apple pie brings a 
Rocketeer to American Eyes. We're talking Full House and Ernest Goes to Camp. Samuel L. Jackson on the stamp. Boardwalking at the Jersey Shore. We got that Mount Rushmore. Campfires and making s'mores. The bald eagle we all adore. America, America, awesome America.